you guys are having a great Saturday. I've cleaned up my lens filter and I'm gonna just show you a really quick picture. That's, yes, that's how big my lens uh, filter is. So I've actually cleaned it up. Uh, the last video I uploaded, I could actually see particles on it. So I'm hoping today is looking a little bit better. Anyway, let's cut to the chase. I'm actually doing a uh, video on the total power consumption on all my electrical devices today. So it's gonna be a really quick video. So, so let's, let's just started. say that you have the one wheel, the ultra. Oh, and by the way, the ultra price revision, please visit the website. I've revised the price for the weekend. If you guys are still interested, have a look at that. So it's gonna be the one wheel, the ultra, um, the Evolve board, the Raptor, the Fidu, the as well as the Stealth Bomber. So let's just see when I powered it, uh, power every all the devices on, what would be the current draw on the socket itself? All right, guys. So I've got almost everything plugged in. Uh, and shout out to uh, Jeff for his uh, Airwheel X3. I haven't been using it, bro. I need to return it to you soon, man. Anyway, so I've got the Airwheel, one wheel, Ultra 3, Carbon GT 4, Raptor 5, Fiddle 6 and the Stealth Bomber 7. Seven devices all plugged in, and it's all coming from the wall socket over there. And uh, now for the verdict. How much power will it consume? I hope nothing explodes. Hmm. Okay, so it's about 1,000. 16, okay, look, it's stabilizing at 1,600 1, watts. Okay, let's look at the function over here. Okay, let's look at the watt hours here. Oh, kilowatt hour. So basically, by the time the devices are fully charged this would actually give an indication of exactly how much electricity was consumed so to put things in perspective in singapore one kilowatt hour it's it, it will cost you about 22 cents per unit so just an indication right now it's just running obviously it's running 0 0.031 323333 um charging up all these devices uh, actually super duper cheap. The reason why I did this video is to really show you guys even if you have that many uh, devices, you know, it's infinitely cheaper to actually ride a PMD versus uh, taking public transport and orders of magnitude more economical versus a car. This is the high 1616 Okay, it's stabilized at 1464 Four. That is probably gonna be the average 1459 thereabouts. If this is gonna be like 10 kilowatt hours, 10 kilowatt hours is like what, two bucks? And all your devices are fully charged. Total uh, mileage you can get from all these devices combined is uh, probably around like 200 kilometers. So, there we well, go. Before I forget, one very important aspect about using a multi socket plug like this is to at least ensure that you don't have to buy the most expensive one around now this one is a little bit finicky or rather it's actually very very old i think the the two pin or the plastic inside here is about to crack so i might have to swap this out but the main multi socket over here you can see this is actually a belkin uh belkin multi adapter so it's got surge protection. Now the most uh, basic thing that you want in a multi-socket adapter is that you know it needs to have at least uh, surge protection. So that's uh, something to take note of. And as much as possible, if you can, uh, charge your devices uh, outdoors or if you can't charge it outdoors or at least put it out in a balcony or somewhere where it is uh, nice open and airy if it's going to be indoors just make sure that it's not around anything flammable it's very very important 
also know that more, most of you have a habit of wanting to use fast chargers. You know, I think I've covered it before. I'm not a huge fan of uh, fast charging um, any of your PMD devices. Because just remember, if you're going to be uh, fast charging any particular device, uh, you will compromise the lifespan of the battery cells inside. So if you can, follow a schedule, you know, um, once, you, once you're done using a PMD, you could charge it in the office, you could charge it at home. Uh, don't leave it until you totally drain off the battery. Again, that's not a very good practice. At maybe halfway, a quarter left of battery uh, life, uh, stick a charger in you know, and just make sure that, you know, your devices are fully charged at all times, especially if you use it on a daily basis. Don't let it drain don't use fast chargers as much as you can uh, unless for emergency you know you really need the device and uh, you just need to um, charge it up as quickly as possible but if at all possible like myself i never ever use fast charging if any one of you are actually interested in finding out what the total consumption or how many how many kilowatt hours all the devices when it's fully charged have consumed please follow me on Instagram where I will snap a picture of all my devices when it's fully charged the total number of kilowatt hours everything has consumed I will snap an insta story and share with all of you there you go guys it was a very very quick video I just wanted to demonstrate how efficient me being a PMD advocate you know there are many reasons why I think that riding a PMD or you know, in fact even a bicycle is a much better choice than driving or even public transport you know if you are able to just uh, minimize uh, public transport use you're gonna be saving the earth and uh, reducing your carbon footprint and doing everyone else around you in on this planet a big big favor so as always until next time if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and I will see you in the next video Bye-bye.